Hi guys, I'm Kazaya Whitaker, the first ever winner of Young Master Chef, and I'm here and I've teamed up with Turtle Bay to give you guys some really amazing cooking content. I feel like everybody in my family can cook, so I think it's probably genetics as well. Mum's a chef, she's a caterer, so I spent a lot of time at cooking events, helping her out in the kitchen, and then once I moved out and started living by myself, my cooking journey, I just got loads of freedom in terms of my creativity, and I started trying out loads of new things. And I just thought to myself, why not document this? And that is when I started putting my recipes on social media. And surprisingly, it got a really good response. Some videos got nearly like half a million views or more. And I just thought, well, people's really interested in what I have to say or what I have to cook. And then Master Chef reached out to me and was like, we think you'd really be good on our show. And then thankfully, I actually won. And I feel like that was where my food journey really started and really started to kick off. Girl. Hello, how are you? Very good, very nice to meet you. Ready to smash it on the Master Chef. Yeah, so I was really excited about coming down here today and getting in the kitchen and, and meeting you, of course, so should Amazing. be good. So, what we're going to try to do now, I want to get you some really cool ingredients I, and I want to go in the, in the, in the, in the, to the supermarket yeah, and pick course. some stuff to see your stuff, your vibe, because when I'm doing something, I have my own vibe. Every chef has their own vibe. Yeah. So, I want to bring you go, go to the go. shop <laughs> and have some fun. I right? love to shop, so let's go. That's let's what's do it. up. <laughs> To make it jerk, right? Mm -hmm. What's the one ingredient you cannot do without? If I had to pick one thing in particular, it would have to be the scotch bonnet. I feel like jerk sauce or anything to do with yeah. jerk without scotch bonnet, it just doesn't make very much sense to me. And you see they have the scotch bonnet yeah, laid out here, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the number one <laughs> stuff as a chef. This is the home. This is where you want to be, you know what I mean? So I feel like making sure you get the best of the best in terms of ingredients will definitely help you have the best result definitely. when it comes to your food. Definitely. Anything else you need? We stuck to the list. Super. We didn't get carried away, but we've got everything we need. That's the most important thing. <laughs> stuck to the list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go cook, my darling. Chef, welcome to our kitchen. Thank you for having me here. I'm I so am excited. so looking forward to see this. Let's get you know? into it. All yeah. right, right. So I just wanted to, now that we have all our shopping, yeah. I just wanted to kind of like, you know, from me to you, what's the, what's one of the importance to you about jerk in your cuisine? What are you doing? So I feel like jerk is important to me because it kind of brings people together. I feel like Rana and Pan is jerk mm. pan is where you have so yeah. much conversations, it's where you have so much memories, it's kinda of like the heart of so much different stuff. Can relate to that. Yeah, so I feel like that's why jerk plays such an important role in my cooking, but also like my life, my upbringing, which is why I feel like it's such a Caribbean staple. Yeah. It's not just the flavours used, also the cooking process. Because the Scotch bonnets is going in there, that's so overpowering. Yeah. I like to balance it out with the sweet as well, which is why I've got the oranges and the lime to cut the spice a bit and then the sugar as well and the honey are you measuring today my darling? no so we're all doing it by eye all right that's the caribbean way obviously. yeah so i just feel like the moment i start measuring stuff is the moment it all goes wrong yep. so <laughs> let's just do it by yeah, eye and see yeah, yeah, where yeah. it takes proper jamaican you know <laughs> so we operate that okay. should be enough sugar Oh my lovely, tell me, what was it like winning MasterChef? It was such a crazy experience. It was a, such a strange journey. Like, I was always very creative. I was good at art, but I didn't want to do art. So it was just like a moment of realisation for me because I finally found what I was good at. Even though I knew that I loved to cook before, I feel like it just confirmed it for me because it's easy to eat your own food and say, this tastes very nice. But when, when you've gone through so much different challenges and trials, like in a competition like that, and you always, you always do well, um, and then for someone else to confirm to you, this is what, you're a master chef in a sense. It's, it's just so crazy. So I feel like it was definitely a moment of realization for me. Do you like to finish your jerk off with a sauce? Oh yeah. And how, would, how do you make the sauce? Uh, no speak your English. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, some of them. <laughs> well, here in Turkey, Bay, we try to we marinate it for 24 hours. Yeah. You know, and then we top it with enriched gravy. So mm -hmm. you know what I mean. Just to get it on the, you know. What I mean? Yeah. What tips do you have for? To get I'm sure your gravy is extremely hot. All right. In a, in a, you have to cook it at a very slow temp low temperature to yeah. get it really succulent, really. Yeah. So like some people just like the grill is just the char on the flavor on it. And once, it, once you see the char, it's not about keeping it on the fire as long as possible. Okay. Like in, in the stuff you see here, yeah. you can just char it and then cook it on top and just yeah. take, let it take time to cook. That's the most important thing. 
So I'm just going to make the sauce for the jerk. Um, my sauce is quite simple because it starts off with the base, which is the marinade that I made, and that's where all your flavours are already. So I kind of just add some ketchup for the tomato substance to kind of thicken it and make it into a sauce, and I add the honey, and I give it all a really good mix. And what I like to do is I like to put some of the sauce on the chicken a little bit before it's done, so it can kind of the honey can kind of caramelise on the chicken, and it can really, like, the, the flavours can really get in there. So, That's you. <laughs> we've got our jerk chicken nice. here, we've also got some rice and peas and slaw. What's your favourite piece of the chicken? What are you most I, the, the, the selection and thai is my side, yeah. because that's more soft, succulent. Mm. I'm a big fan of the fire, I'm ready to, I'm hungry yeah? now, so. Okay. <laughs> that's really good. That's nice. I could have had it a bit hotter. Yeah. Me personally. Do I get chef's approval? 100%. <laughs> Good stuff. Let me double check again. <laughs> go again, let me go again. Any excuse to go twice, eh? <laughs> Good. Man, <I> <laughs>